Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So, I'm what is so impressive about most of the major YouTube channels? Script? Yes. Sound design? Yes. Storytelling? Of course, but on the top of that, ultimate video editing. Today we will be learning the top 3 effects that most of the YouTubers use in their videos. First is Jiggle Wiggle which is always there in Ali Abdal's video. Icons are moving, coming out and then they appear like they are floating smoothly. Then come out of the screen which looks very cool. By the way you can download the project file to practice it along. So to create this effect apply scale to the logo. After scaling it down to zero, move to some frames to make it 100%. So it creates a basic pop-out animation. You can also change its position. Then you can either press F9 or right click, go to Keyframe Assistant and select Easy East to create the smooth movement. To make this movement blurry, you can add motion blur by selecting this option. If you are not able to access this option, then click here toggle switch mode button. Now how to make it look like it is floating. Select the logo and press P for position and by holding the alt key or option key click on the stopwatch icon. So the expression window will open and you have to write a wiggle expression which includes two values. The first value is for how many times it will move in one second and the second value is for how many pixels it will slide. Let us add 1 and 30 and click outside so we'll get this. Looking cool, isn't it? If you want to change the movement, then just change the value to make it fast or slow. Now to move it out during the exit, click on this 3D layer icon and animate the Z axis to move it outside. The second cool effect is a dancing later, which you might have seen in many videos. To create it, add a text layer then use the turbulent display effect to add it to your text. Adjust the turbulence as per your requirement by changing the amount and size. So now if we add motion to it, it will appear like they are dancing. So if you select this random seed option and play around with it, you can see that it is dancing. For each random number, it generates different movement. So again, we can automate this process by adding expression. So by holding the Alt or Option key and clicking stopwatch, you can open the expression window. Write random 10,000, which means any random number between 1 to 10,000. But if it is very fast, then you can add posterized time before it. Add value of 6 so it will change only 6 times in a second. So if your composition is 24 frames per second then it will be changed to every 6 frames. And if you are frequently using this effect then you need not to repeat the same steps again and again. You can save it by selecting the effect and going to animation panel selecting save as preset as a user preset and then using it the next time you want to create the same dancing effect. The third effect is this looping texture background. Ok, so I have imported a paper texture background. Now we will animate its position by adding 5 keyframes by changing its position after every 5 frames. So now this texture is moving. But we have two problems here. One is it shows movement while moving between frames. The second problem is animation stops after 5 frames. Let's fix that. So for the first problem select all the keyframes and right click and select toggle hold keyframes. So now it will not move in between the frame. And what about the second problem? For infinite looping animation comes to 5 frames after the last keyframe position. Copy and paste the first keyframe at this frame so it sets the starting position. Then click on the stopwatch after holding the alt or option key just like we did before. Now write down in expression loop out. Now it will loop infinitely. Even you can change the duration of composition. Let's say 20 seconds from composition settings. Then from timeline drag and stretch the layer. Done. 
Along with this moving texture, we can also use this moving grid effect. Add grid from effects and preset. Change the blend mode to add. You can set the width and height using size from this option. You can animate its position. Another cool effect that you must have seen in Ali Abdal's video is the moving text behind the subject. In this case, it is a static subject, but even if it is a moving subject, you can easily do it using a roto brush tool using rotoscope technique. I have explained it detail this rotoscope technique. If you are interested, kindly watch this video. Bye bye.